watch fans. Got another one literally just dropped off at my door. So let's check it out. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I mean, I assume it's a watch. Maybe it's not, and then this will be embarrassing. I don't know. I buy some weird stuff sometimes. All right. Oh, Citizen. Okay. Let's see what this is. Your Citizen watch is working. Okay. All right. Gray market. Here we come. Let's see what this is before I open it. Okay. Doesn't tell me. All right. Well, I'll put it up at the top. Okay. Good quality gray market Costco. Oh, I like this one. This one's nice. This is the Citizen EcoDrive Field Watch. What a nice looking watch. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Let's watch this video on Citizen. All right, so this is a fantastic watch. Um, I've already engaged the crown. I just pushed it in. Uh, it has a hacking feature. Um, I got this watch from a 
Uh, it is a gray market seller, but it is an authorized retailer for uh, remanufactured watches for citizens. So technically it's not really gray market uh, and, and I'm okay with that. Now, uh, before I get into any detail, what does that really mean if it is a remanufactured watch? So it kind of depends, right? It depends on what you're getting it, where you're getting it from. If it's a certified remanufactured, it means what you're getting, generally speaking, is going to be a brand new case and a brand new watch strap. Uh, and it means that the movement itself inside is probably going to be uh, a one that was already working that somebody took from a watch that uh, perhaps was returned and scratched uh, and what have you, you know, and I guess used for a year or broke, and they will probably fix it, in which case they are going to also replace the, uh, the capacitor. Now, some of these use capacitors as their batteries and others actually just use batteries that are rechargeable. Uh, this one uses a capacitor. It is an eco drive, which of course, as you know, I've in, in my some of my other videos that I've done, this whole face is a solar panel, which is very cool. Now, one of the things I like about this, and and you know, it's this is a spectacular deal, uh, and I'll just get right into the price. So this watch, remanufactured. Uh, basically $275, right? This is generally a more expensive watch, but this the MSRP for this one is $275. I paid $69, so there's still quite a few online. I'm sorry, I paid $59. There's still quite a few online. And I'll put the picture of my auction eBay up there. So, uh, but I I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's very nice. This is not a rotating bezel, but it does have compass, which, and a uh, tachyometer. Now, that might not be too useful for others, but there is what they call the Boy Scout trick, so you can kind of identify where you are. Uh, I don't know it, <laughs> um, but uh, there's instructions on how to figure that out. Uh, the warranty, you do have a valid warranty with this. Um, is As long as you register it and you can register it within the time, I think you just have to submit and prove if they question it. They have to actually prove when you got it and uh, the retailer's name. So in this case, it would be <clears throat> the company that I got it from, which while it is gray market, they a lot of their watches are gray market. This company is authorized to sell to Citizen, but um, you generally will get a five-year warranty uh, on this watch, but they also encourage you to register, and in doing so, they give you an additional year. So I can actually get a six-year warranty on this watch, which is pretty spectacular. It's not something you would ever really consider for a watch... Um, like this. I mean, six years, that's, that's pretty good, especially because most people, you know, outside of watching and buying a, an iPhone watch. And for those that do, they're probably not going to keep that watch for six years. They're going to keep it for two years and go and get the, the next brand new one. Um, this watch reminds me a lot of the Wenger, um, heritage, I believe it was called. I'll put a picture of it right up here. They look identical. And this one I've been seeing in sort of my watched items on eBay, uh, and a lot of people had bought them, and it was slowly going away, and I was like, well, do I just kind of let it sit, or do I buy it? So I couldn't help myself, and I bought it because um, it's a lot like the Wenger one that I had. I mean, the strap is even like kind of identical. It's a field watch, of course, but I really like it, and I think it's, it's really nice. Um, you know, really just spectacular quality um, from, from Citizen. You know, it is a, uh, um, it is their, their normal eco drive three hand with date, uh, movement. I'll put pictures up here. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a very reliable movement, which leads me to believe that these are probably original, uh, these movements and they simply just replace the cases. And that's why this is manufactured, but no problem for me. Um, you know, I'm not going to wear this one every day. I'll probably wear it once or twice, um, every once in a while, but it's, uh, really fantastic watch the uh the the watch is the strap here is a nylon strap which is really nice i love this color i think it goes excellent with a field watch uh the back is uh, real leather and then of course it has these little these uh little inserts here these uh grommets i guess you'd call them uh riveted grommets sort of you know where they just push it in there and then they they edge the side there and, and that'll he help keep it from getting damaged 
uh, when you, you know, from, from this, from the buckle. But uh, really nice, really nice shape. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about it? Well, I mean, it's a three hands, so there's there's not much to it, but it is spectacular. You know, why don't I go ahead and I'll weigh it since we're here. It's not very heavy. But most watches like this, of course, wouldn't be. So 66 and a half, I'm going to say. So it's, it's quite nice. Stainless steel case, uh, very good quality case. Um, you can see, and it's it's polished on the, um, it's brushed on the side, polished around the trim. It is just a standard mineral crystal. There's nothing too special about it. There is a slight bevel to it. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's beveled on the edges, but then it's also curved, which kind of gives it sort of a nice look. Uh, not enough that it's going to be a pain in the butt for any particular reason, but it's it's uh, just an, it just just enough to give it a little bit of hint of style. Uh, stainless steel buckle. It's obviously got the name on there. Seal on the back too, and also on the strap. Uh, let's do some measurements. All right, uh, I think that's safe for me to say that's 42 uh, millimeter width. The lug width is good, solid 20. And the depth, say 11. Yep, 11. So not bad. It's actually all in all a very nice watch. Um, and I don't know if, if this really comes out well, but it is, it's dished, which is actually really nice. And it gives it sort of a, uh, a sense of depth when you look at the face. And, and certainly I really like that. I think it's really classy. You know, let me set the time since I have you guys as a captive audience. Okay, it is the 27th today, but this probably won't play until next week. All right, and it is five. Oop, I'm not crazy there. Perfect. All right, what else can I say about it? You know what? Let's go get a loom shot. Very cool. No second hand, but I do like this type of uh, this loom. It is a very bright blue loom, which is kind of cool. Uh, kind of pointless, though, because there's nothing illuminated on the edge, so not totally thrilled about that. I would like to see something a little bit more like this watch, for example, where you can kind of see all the way around, and you'll see this watch one day. Uh, I'll eventually get around to reviewing it. But this one, I don't know how much that helps. <laughs> So not totally thrilled about that. Um, before we go any further, uh, I know I'm making this video quick, but uh, I want to save time for you guys. Let's watch this quick video on Citizen's um, EcoDrive, because I think it's worthwhile seeing it. EcoDrive draws power from a single source. Light. Any light. Not only bright sunshine, but cloudy days, or even artificial light. EcoDrive converts light into electrical energy, which is stored in a rechargeable power cell, driving the motor, the gears, and the hands. On a single full charge, a Citizen watch with EcoDrive can run for over six months, even if stored in the dark, resulting in never having to change your battery. Citizen EcoDrive, powered by light. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Uh, not much more to talk about. Um, but uh, since this is a field watch, of course, it does have some water resistance. In this particular case, it's 100 meters. 100 meters is good. 
Uh, I probably wouldn't take this swimming, but you certainly could. It's just not something you typically would because it does still have leather on the back. But it is a 100 meter uh, water resistance, so you could take that swimming. You could shower with it. Um, you could wash hands, do the dishes, whatever you want to do. Uh, that's pretty decent. Again, uh, most cases you would just keep it on. I'm not a fan of having the leather on the back of nylon. I prefer to just keep it straight nylon. I have a couple like that. You know, I don't know why you would necessarily want to put leather on the back, but I guess for some people they, they prefer that. But um, that's really the only, only negative I've ha I have of this watch. Otherwise, it's actually quite good. Um, so if you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more like this or you have any recommendations, please leave comments in the comment section below. Otherwise, really appreciate your subscription and, uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks.